Hi, my name is Garrett Town with AM Solar and today we're going to be talking about lithium batteries. There are several advantages to lithium battery systems. Extended lifespan. With lithium batteries you can get about 2500 cycles. With lead acid batteries it's about 500 to 1000. With lithium you can use 80% capacity. With lead acids you can only take the top 50%. With lithium, there's no voltage sag as your batteries get slow, which means your lights don't dim. Lithium batteries have a high current output, which means they're rated at full capacity even when the battery is somewhat low in charge. Lead acid batteries can't do that. Lithium batteries have fast and simple charging, which means you don't have to run your generator as long because they can absorb current at a much higher rate and lithium batteries don't require an equalization mode. Efficient charge and discharge. Lithium batteries are 99% efficient, whereas lead acid batteries are around 94%. Temperature resistance. Lithium batteries don't lose capacity as they get colder, unlike lead acid batteries. Easy placement. Lithium batteries don't vent gases, so that means you can put them under your bed or in your living quarters. Lithium batteries weigh less per usable amp hour than lead acid batteries by a factor of about 3.6. People worry about lithium batteries catching on fire, but lithium iron phosphate is inherently non-combustible. But there are other forms of lithium battery technology using different chemistries that are a little bit more dangerous. These are all good things, but people ask, why are they so complicated then? Lithium batteries require different charging parameters, which means you need to reset all your chargers in your system. That can be the inverter charger or the solar charge controller. Lithium batteries have a different resting voltage than lead acid batteries. Lithiums rest at about 13.2 volts, which is slightly higher than lead acid batteries. This means that there are some complications when introducing alternator charging. As mentioned before, there's no voltage sag, which means the Pukert effect is minimal, which means the voltage of the battery doesn't vary depending on charge level, which makes it very hard for the system to determine if the batteries are reaching an overcharge or an over discharge. So systems have to be built in to prevent these from happening that could damage the batteries. If you charge a frozen lithium battery, you'll damage it. Good systems can prevent that from happening. Lithium batteries require a battery management system, also known as a BMS. This system balances the cells and handles high voltage, low voltage, and sometimes frozen charging disconnects. Lithium batteries are composed of four series connected cell groups, each nominally rated at 3.2 volts. When connected in series, these, this adds up to 12.8 volts. In order to keep the battery healthy, these cells need to be balanced. They need to all be at the same charge level. Cell balancing typically happens when the more fully charged cells have their current redirected and shunted off to a bank of resistors where it's burned off in the form of heat and that slows the charge rate and allows the less charged cells to catch up. Unfortunately this can only happen when the cells or the battery itself is close to a full charge. Battery management systems typically provide two different types of cutouts. High voltage cutout is when the charging sources are disconnected because the batteries are reaching a full charge. A low voltage cutout is when the charging sources are disconnected because the battery is near empty. More advanced battery management systems have a frozen charge disconnect that disconnects all charging sources when the battery is approaching freezing. These BMS devices can be internal, external, or a combination of the two. For example, the Xbeon 360 battery has everything internal. So does the Life Blue battery. The Victron battery has cell balancing internal and the cutoffs are external. Some of the reasons AM Solar has been in business so long is that we don't sell garbage, we offer high level technical support, and we warranty our products. With that in mind and after extensive testing, we've narrowed our lithium offerings to three different options. Xbeon 360, Life Blue, and Victron. Our premium lithium battery option is the V4 Victron lithium system using Victron uh, smart batteries, the VE bus BMS, and a proprietary control board that we've developed. The V4 Victron system offers internal cell balancing, external disconnects for high voltage, low voltage, and frozen, individual battery Bluetooth communication for voltage and temperature, 
and the external disconnects are modular and serviceable. A much higher current output than the competitors allows for single battery installation and it's nice that it has the same brand as all the other components in the system with similar communications. But installation is very complex and can take about 35 hours of labor which means that this is an expensive option. Life Blue Lithiums are an excellent option for anyone wanting to avoid the high cost and complexity of our V4 Victron system with these drop-in designs and internal BMS. Life Blue HC Lithium batteries are ideal for DIY projects. They have internal cell balancing and internal disconnects offering high voltage, low voltage, and frozen charge disconnection. The Bluetooth app is great because it gives voltage, temperature, current, and capacity, which is very rare in a drop-in lithium system. But they have a lower current output than Victron batteries and require at least two of these batteries in parallel for a 2000 watt or larger inverter and the BMS is not serviceable. Xbeon 360 batteries are our newest lithium battery option and we like them because their small size makes them ideal for small projects and they fit especially well in the tongue boxes of airstreams. Xbeon 360 lithium batteries come in one size 120 amp hours and they allow for 160 amps of output current per pair. They're usually installed in pairs. They have internal cell balancing and they have internal disconnects for high and low voltage. The BMS is removable and serviceable, but they don't offer Bluetooth communication or a cold charge disconnect. When figuring out which lithium option is best for you, you need to first consider the complexity. Are you going to have a professional install it or are you going to install it yourself? The Victron system is extremely complex and we don't recommend it for DIY people, but we've had many successful DIY installs. The Life Blue and Xbeon 360 are pretty straightforward for DIY installation. Secondly, you need to consider the space that you have in your battery bay. Which type of batteries are going to fit? And third, consider the price. I hope this video was educational. If you need help determining the right lithium system for your needs, give us a call at AM Solar.